Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. So we'll continue exploring user interface and customizations inside the DAS Studio for Advanced. So let's look right now on a specific uh, options. It's under Edit button, Customize. You can access also by pressing F3. So right here you can see our menu of the customizations. On your left um, side, you will have your shortcut keys. So you can click Preview and you can modify them. Let's example, if you open a Help, you'll notice Access Help, it will assign to F1. If you want to reassign any shortcut keys, you can right click and select Change um, Keyboard Shortcut. You also can clear or restore default. As well, you can change the icons or default icons for those items. On our right side, we have options to modify, add additional options to our activities. So right here, we have it for those top tabs activities. We have it menus and we have a toolbar. So let's look on activities. So right here, we can expand and you can see we have it options to display additional on our bar. Okay, you cannot actually add new activities in this. It's a preset from layout, but however, we can enable or disable. Um, some of them is not visible. Do you don't kind of want clutter too much of the options you don't want to see it, but um, sometimes maybe you want to access them fast. So let's go ahead, right click and enable. So now I'll just enable all of them for now. And to preview, we'll just click apply. You'll notice right now we have way more options right here enabled for us in our uh, toolbar, kind of an activities toolbar. And again, and this is options. If you think you will access them often, you can enable. But if you think you can access them sometimes and don't want to clutter your workspace, you can disable, make them less, less visible. Same things will apply for our pose ones lighting and render right here so in the render you can see you can still have it create same options on another tabs okay you have a basic viewport same like right here but some of them enable disable so it's kind of customization for those uh, groups of the activities you maybe prefer okay so let's go ahead right here next we have a menu menu is very interesting this is the pop-up menu or the stop menu and you can customize and create it with them. So let's look as example, we expand main menu, which is stop right here. You notice we have a file, edit, help, all these menus available for us. Okay. Um, also, for example, if we can extend file, you can see inside the file. Let's go ahead and expand our help. So inside the help, You'll see we have it as usual, right what we find. One interesting thing about this menu, you actually can add your own menu to here. So let's go ahead and um, right here, maybe add some sub menu or items. So in get play, we'll press enter. Okay, let me remove it, make it a bit closer. We can apply, let's click accept kind of important if you don't click accept it's going to display it so we'll have a menu and right here you can see we have a geek at play options appear currently it doesn't link to anything it do absolutely nothing so we'll look in a more advanced how we can link to perform some actions like retrieve special video tutorials or other things but for now it's how we can create additional options here or if you know any other option you can actually customize and move from one menu to another so let's see for example if you can go inside main menu files and you can see right here we have it in new so you can actually go modify it or remove it okay so this is one way and this is all of the menus we have it copy paste from um, shaping tab so it's all menus you can access let me go ahead and for now just remove this one and we'll remove separator okay so the next thing is what I want to look at is a toolbar toolbar is kind of interesting options you can add and create all these options on our toolbar right here 
So let me do one thing for right now. I'm going right here and I'm going to disable so we can see a little bit better. So right here we have it, our menus and we have it only basic and create enabled. Okay, toolbar. Okay, we'll go to um, basic viewport and basic viewport right this one. So you can see we have the universal control, surface, this one, and spot. So you can actually add your own custom widget if you are already pre-existing, so you can faster access. So let's right click, and I'm going to add a separate right now, and I'm going to add custom widget. If you add toolbar, it will just create another toolbar just like this, so you can create your own custom toolbar. Well, but I'm going to add custom widget. It's going to navigate and I'm just select filter selection. This is a DAS script. So let's click open. And we'll click apply. And click accept. So you notice right here I have a new widget appear. So for me, this is will help me maybe select better on option that I want to work. And again, this is just as an example. So you can go ahead and modify. Okay, but this is just example of placement widget on your toolbar so you can go ahead and customize and uh, with uh, more developers creating different type of widgets you probably can download it and reuse them and implement in your toolbar to make it work um, run smoother and faster okay, so let's go ahead next we'll go back to our customization and we'll look on one more right here on the bottom this is where you can set some view controls and this is um, if you work with other for example applications sometimes you can use two different ways for example I would like to have it my um, rotate or arm let's say rotate and I want to change this rotation so I'll just double down click and press control like left click on my mouse so now my rotation will happen if I hold control and left click um, and drag so it will rotate around you can change as well otherwise the one thing let me show you for example right here when i want to zoom to me with when i work with other applications actually when i move my mouse this should be zoom in for my mouse and when i otherwise it's zoom out okay so for this one options actually i would like to inverse mouse so let's modify accept so now it's worked properly with my mouse rotation will up or down as well now because I change if I press control key and left mouse click so I can rotate the scenery around the, my camera point of view so this way I can readjust in a way I like my interface and control with my mouse over the view controls for my applications and you can already store this by just go ahead and preload it already preset defaults and other layouts or you can save your own after you customize okay you always can go ahead and restore everything to default with das 3d by using default restorations application that come with it so it's very easy don't worry if you are uh, mess up with some controls you can always go back and restore it to default but uh, customizations and um, set up properly interface will help you a lot with your workflow to go through and creating uh, very fast and uh, without even word of the memorizing new shortcut and mouse movements okay so thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com